G'day, this is Marie Wilson and I'm here with my friend Caleb and um, we're, I'm going to teach Caleb how I play uh, the Bruce Springsteen song, Dancing in the Dark. All right, so um, I have the capo on the third fret. Um, it's actually makes, the way we play it here makes that song in its original key, so you can actually end up playing this along with the CD if you want to. Although I do tend to play a fairly um, more laid back sort of version of it. Um, Obviously he's got like huge horn sections and things like that so whenever I do a version of a song I just try to do something that I can best portray that song. Yeah. I don't like to muck around with it too much and change it all and be too too clever with it. I just like to do something that's, um, you know, that I feel I'm doing justice to and I'm yeah. playing it solo. So basically um, it's in the key of, uh, of G with the, with the capo on, so it's in the key of G and um, it's a nice way, I, I like doing this intro because I know when I start playing, if, if I don't actually introduce it, people are sitting there because they're saying, it sounds familiar, but I'm not quite sure yeah. what it is. And then when I start singing, then everyone sort of gets it. So it's a nice way to sort of start the song. All right, so the intro is just on the G. Now that's the, um, that's a G string and I've just got the, I'm sort of playing that little melody that does played in the intro so that's so it's starting on the on the G string with my forefinger on that second fret and then it's just sliding up to the fourth fret and when you do that it's actually playing the same it's playing a B string so it kind of it's nice because then you can sort of play both the yeah. that uh, B string as well so Um, okay, so coming out of that intro, there's, there's two ways. Basically, the chords over the verse are pretty simple. They're just a G down to the E minor. I get up in the evening, G to E minor. I ain't got nothing to say. I come home in the morning. I go to bed feeling the same way. All right, then we sort of go into that second half of the verse. Yeah, so that's the, the first half to that um, to that verse. Then we change up to the C, and I like to play C that's got that G bass. Do you play your C's like that? Uh, no. Nope. Yeah, put put fourth finger up there, and then. Oh uh, yeah. So basically, what that means is you play all the strings, yeah. and it, it just gives you a beefier sound. Um, if you play the C like that, then you really yeah. shouldn't play that E string. So it just so it means that you can just smash it away if you wanted. Um, um, the 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 lyrics to the feeling the same way. Right, so we're just on the C down to the A minor. Ah, sorry, C down to the A minor. D. Now the D is where we basically go into that chorus which is the can't start a fire. Okay so now we're going to the chorus um, and which is basically just over a D. Can't start a fire. You can't start. Now when when you um, play this little part you just sort of slide up with the melody. Can't start a fire. Um, now the, the key when you're doing this though, because you're sort of taking your fingers off that D chord, you've got to be careful not to play yeah, all the yeah. strings there. So you just sort of play the um, the uh, D string and the B string. You can't start a fire. Sorry, the G string and the B string. Can't start a fire without a spark. To the C, and then down to the E minor. This gun. Sorry, A minor. <laughs> This gun's for hire Even if we're just dancing in the dark Back to the intro, which goes back to the Okay, 
Yeah, so we'll just go through that chorus again um, up uh, from the D. You can't start a fire You can't start a fire without a spark To the C, down to the A minor <laughs> This one's for higher To the C again Even if we're just dancing in the dark Back to the intro Okay, so what we're going to do now is coming out of the second chorus, we go back basically into the intro, yeah. and then we're going to come into the bridge. Now, the main chord that you may or may not know, I, or you, it's sort of a little bit challenging to get your fingers around sometimes, is the B7, and it sort of comes halfway through this bridge. So the bridge starts on an E minor and then goes up to the G. Older. To the C. There's a joke here somewhere, which is up to the D, and then that's where we go to the B7, just quickly. And it's on me. So we do a B7 to E minor. Kind of lift. So a B7 um, is your forefinger on a, the D string in the first fret, and then the other three fingers, the middle finger, fourth finger, and the pinky, um, is on the the middle finger is on the A, the fourth finger is on the G string, and the pinky is on the E string, and they're all in the second fret. Yeah. Right, so it's, it's a little bit challenging to get to that yeah. chord. And then to the E minor. All right, so the um, second half of the bridge um, is exactly the same, except the B7. So the first part of the bridge, um, to the G, to the C, there's a joke here somewhere to the B7. That's, the thing is I do play with the B7 is sometimes if I don't have time, I won't actually use my yeah. pinky. I'll just use these three fingers, yeah, it's yeah. a bit of a cheat, and then you just don't play that top string. Somewhere an ant's on me, shake this world off my shoulder to the C. Come on, baby, laugh's on me. And then I kind of just do a little pause before I go into that last verse. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, cause so coming out of the bridge, um, come on, baby, the last on me. And then we just go back into that last verse. Stay on the streets of this town. They'll be covering you up all right. Just G. Up again to G. Hey, baby, I'm just about starving tonight. And just over that last little bit, you could just go G to the E minor. Even if we're just dancing in the dark. Even if we're just dancing in the dark. That's it. That's pretty much it. 